What's good, YouTube? So, if you don't know, I just recently got my car back out the transmission shop. Um, like I said, man, I'm in love with this beast, man, but it needs a lot of work, man. I'm thinking about taking the 14 gears up. Sound good and everything. Um, I got it lowered in the front. Go somewhere, like in the parking lot or something, and try to get y'all a better view of the car. My pen pad still works, by the way. I be using it here like this. Leave my car crook up. And uh, gonna do what I gotta do. But man, it's a lot of stuff that I would change about it. Like I said, I would, I would get the um, 410 or the Uber. Um, but if I could find somebody who actually wanna buy the car, so I don't have to go through that process. I can just find one and rebuild it just like this one. I do um, not have to worry about, um, you know, dropping another bag in the car, you feel me? So, if you're someone who's looking for a great running car, um, a Panther platform car, um, let me know, man, because I stay I stay in Atlanta, Georgia, so if you if you really want the car, I'm willing to sell it only because I don't put so much in the car right now. Um, like I said, I have 14 years. It's already built, you know what I'm saying? So if somebody actually looking for a, a, a Panther platform car and not looking to drive it daily, um, yeah, I would highly recommend this car. But I drive the car daily, so 14 gears is not the way for me, honestly. I mean, unless you drive a less, less miles than I do to work, then I'm all for it. Uh, I'm, I'm about 30 minutes off from my job, uh, so I can't keep doing that, you feel me? I'd rather have it stopped on that end with the rear end. <clears throat> so, I mean, if you, if you got a Panther part for me, you just want a car that's already built, man. Hit me up too. Hey, I'll trade with you plus cash, you feel me? So, but do some. Okay, man. So, this is my 2000 Mercury Marquise LS edition. Have a lot put in, a lot of work put in this car, man. Just got the dual exhaust ran probably a month ago. Just got the transmission rebuilt. Uh, do have a bag up okay. Install. Ten of these tail lights. Left the on review. Um, white. Just to offset it a little bit. Entertain that in the future. Who knows? But this is the car, man. Like I said, I got a Lord. I do have spaces on, so it'll look flush with the car. I want to go bigger spaces in the back, though, so I can get a little, a little bit more poke out. I want it flush down right here, so I probably want to get bigger spaces in the back. Might be already a two. I might have to go two and a half. I do have that in the front too. The front is a small one. Might be a one and a half in the front. Yeah, man. Go a little bigger at the back so I can get that little poke out back there. But I do have ten all the way around the car, man. Even the front. If I do decide to keep this car, like I said, I'm taking the 14 gears out. I'm dropping the sunroof in. I went one sunroof in my last car. It was a tilt and slide. I might go double with this one. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, man. 
show y'all the inside and I'll show y'all on the hood. The inside is not too serious. My pen pad, this pen pad does still work, man. For this car to be 21 years old, you feel me? This car was built in February of 2000. That's when it was sent out and all that. And this still works to this day. I know the code and everything. Um, yeah, like I said, it's not too serious. I'm really thinking about taking these out and trying to find some leather seats. Uh, if I do so, I'm thinking about going tan with the seats just to give it an offset. If not tan, I will go back black. Lock my door back, I'll lock my door. Don't mind, don't mind, don't mind. My dad gave me no, he know damn well I'm not gonna be wearing these motherfuckers, bro. What the fuck are these, man? Anyway, yeah, previous owner had dogs, so I had a hard time getting rid of a smell that I can't get rid of. I do have a son, so. That's why the car seat in here, by the way. Anyways, um, yeah, man. This is the car, man. That, that stink, but we'll go in there, man. Get your got thing. Peanut head ass out of here. Man, get your got thing. Get your got thing out of here. Dead, no, no. I ain't gonna hope you don't stink. You know, son, that sock and just throw that motherfucker away. Did not want him to stay in there. Motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if y'all seen, I do have Mustang wheels on here too. Thinking about going red calibers. That's why I got the um red caps. Look, his homie mag is I killed. Oh, is that your wife? My bad, bro. My bad, bro. I'm so sorry, bro. Don't do me like that, bro. I ain't mean to do it. It's it's more it's more it's more of them out here, bro. For real, bro. Anyways, um, yeah, thinking about going red calibers. Uh, is my brakes good? Yeah, the brakes good in the back, it look like. Cause I be, my brake light be flashing sometimes, man. Uh, how about the front? Front might need replacing. Or either my road is one. Anyway, got some good tires on here. Uh, good tread still. Um, one thing I do like about the Mercury's that the Crown Vic don't like, you know what I'm saying, have is the color matching mirrors. I like how this is color matched. On the Crown Vic I had, that was always black. This is my second Mercury. I had a Crown Vic and two Mercury's. Um, now I know damn well I ain't hit no curve. It must have been somebody who was driving my car. Anyway, these wheels won't be on long if I decide to keep it. Um, or this motherfucker really mad. I might have to kill him too. I'm really against killing you motherfuckers, bro. What, 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 what the fuck you got going on? The fuck you on my whip? Why is you on my whip for it, bro? Hey, man. Back to the video. I do have dual exhaust ran. Let y'all see what's in the trunk. I have 215s. Like, hey, mind, mind all that, man. I've been moving, man. Feel me? I have 215s. And a little kinetic energy battery over here. Or however you say that shit. Anyways, got a lot of trash in here I need to clean out. Just not noticing it. So like I said, I've been moving. Um... Oh yeah, another thing, if I do decide to keep this car, I am going LED lights right there and on the inside too. And the headlights. 
feel me? This car is just about 175,000 miles. Now another thing, with with the 14 gears being in here, um, I do notice my car just rolling over, like with the miles. I don't know why the camera blurry. Okay, there it is. But um, with the miles just rolling over with the 14 gears, it's not matching up. You feel me? Like I have a speedo gear in here, but like my miles per hour is still off by five. Until I go over 70. When I go over 70, it's about 10, 20 ish. Um, so yeah, that's another reason why I want to get rid of the 14 gears. Don't get me wrong, 14 gears are good if you just if you just riding around in the city, but highway, nah. It's not good for highway speed, man. Um my gas, I just filled my gas tank up Friday. Today's Sunday. And that's why I'm at. That's how many miles I got. Now, that's why I said this is not a daily driver. Honestly, because of that. Um, but other than that, man, this car is pretty clean. Like I said, I would trade for a car. That's stock. I don't want nobody who's done built the car already. I really just want it stock, man. If you interested in this car, man, just let me know. Um, the price I am asking is 5500 and I am taking my subs out that I showed y'all the 215s, but it does come with everything else. But if that price is too high for you, I will be taking out my double den. I will be taking my backup camera. Um, and then I'll drop the price a little bit, but not too much. Cause like I said, this car did come with, um, 14 years and all that. So. And if, if that price that I give you after dropping is still too high, then if you have a stock Mercury Grand Marquise or a Crown Vic, I think I want to go Crown Vic again, but I will be taking these off and you put on your stock wheels on here. And I will be taking these and put it on the car that I'm trading with you. The title is clean on this car. Never been in an accident. This is under the hood. Don't bash me now. I know this is where a lot of people go wrong on YouTube, man. Talking a lot of trash about the under the hood and stuff, man. Look, I ain't had a car that long. You feel me? I only had the car for about. Let me see. When did I really get this car? When did I really get this car? It was maybe July, and it's October. So I only had the car for like three months. And I already got the transmission rebuilt. I have a Canyon out filter, drop filter now in there. I just got the oil change yesterday. And that was the first time I had the oil change since I had the car. Um, no leaks or anything, man. It does pretty good. Uh, I will be cleaning under here though, soon when I have time, maybe next weekend. Um. But yeah, man, I'm gonna go somewhere else and let y'all hear it run and all that. Depending on, you know what I'm saying, the situation. I might not go nowhere, I just might do it here. But I am where I stay. I don't want people tripping. So, yeah, I might find like an abandoned parking lot or something. What I thought about it. I might just go ahead and get y'all the um, startup right here. Uh, go ahead and get in here and crank it up, man. Um, I really want to tint these two. Tint these side markers. Who knows if I have time, I might do it today. Yeah, I might do that today. I don't know though. Anyways, let me try to set it one more time.
Now, if you did enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you want to see more stuff about this vehicle, you know what I'm saying, make sure y'all do hit the subscribe button. And I am going to be posting a lot more. Until then, I'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.